Hey guys, welcome to Draw My Story. And today, we're drawing the story of the God of Roadkill, a very mysterious and scary creature. If you don't know much about it, let me explain it for you. The God of Roadkill exists from century, as its name suggests. The God of Roadkill is the God of dead animals who gets killed on roads due to accidents. The innocent animals who die on the roads. The God of Roadkill takes their souls to the other side of the world. That is its sole job. It's very big in size, more than the size of a van. It would measure roughly around 20 feet tall. By appearance, it has a very disfigured body. It looks like its face has a bird-like head with a pointy beak-like structure with four eyes on it. And there are stitches from its head to its neck, which suggests maybe its head is a mask. Its whole body gives the illusion of a half-cut humanoid torso. Surprisingly, it does not have any legs. It seems its body is detached from the pelvis region, and no one knows where its legs are. It's quite a horrifying creature who roams around on the roads in night looking for its victim. So, who exactly the god of roadkill is? Where did it come from? I'm going to cover everything in today's video. So keep watching. A picture of a very strange looking creature started doing the rounds in the internet which looked like a humanoid torso and its head resembled a bird. It was documented by horror artist Trevor Henderson and it was named as the God of Roadkill. As per the data, one million vertebrate get run over each day only in the United States alone. One million innocent animals give their lives for the comfort of humans. Isn't that insane? Aren't we responsible for this? And from the plea of those animals, the God of Roadkill emerged to give justice to all those innocent animals who give their lives every day. It's said that the accidents happen immediately after someone sees the God of Roadkill. They'll either meet with a car accident and die on the spot, or they'll hit someone with their car. However, in both of those cases, death is for sure. As I said, the God of Roadkill has a very disfigured body. Its skin looks like rotten meat, as if it's torn or something, leaving behind only the bones to be visible. It looks exactly like a car accident victim, even though its origin story is not clear, but some theories suggest that maybe the god of roadkill is some sort of survivor from any car accident who was left to rot after some tragic car accident and that might have turned it into a monster who was all ready to take revenge from humans, especially the ones who hit innocent animals with their car and leave them to die on the roads. The God of Roadkill is here to take revenge from all of those, and it's easier for it to find its victims because of its looks and the darkness in the night. As it looks like a rotten, dead animal, any passerby can easily ignore it, thinking it's a dead animal lying on the road. This helps the god of roadkill to disguise itself. The victims can easily fall into this trap. And after seeing the god of roadkill once, now no one can escape. They come across with very strange situations that out of nowhere they'll meet with an accident and die. Maybe their car will break down in the middle of the road 
or the brakes fail, or anything which could cause an accident to happen. Nobody even gets a clue how does these car accidents even happen. Because the human mind is very little to comprehend this. How will they know that? It's their karma which they're getting back. The plea of all those innocent animals, the suffering of their souls, who are left to die on the road just like that. The god of roadkill now taking revenge on behalf of all of them. There is one more interesting thing about it. The god of roadkill does not eat alive victims. Even after the accident, if the person is not dead, it will wait for them to die. And once they're dead, it will eat them. I think even being a monster, the god of roadkill is still having its moral value, which we humans don't have. The god of roadkill is indestructible. It can't be killed by running over a car or shooting with a gun. Neither can it be destroyed in a fire. There is no human-made weapon invented yet which can kill the god of roadkill. And that's why it's called the god. According to Trevor, the god of roadkill is a sad and angry kind of creature. But it ended up in that state, also because of the death of a large number of animals, which are happening every day. It's said that there was one agent who encountered the god of roadkill, and he escaped. As he was innocent, and has not ran over any animal with his car. He did not meet with any accident, and he survived. So maybe we can say that the god of roadkill is not an evil entity after all, who kills humans for no reason. It has a purpose, and we know that. So its main purpose is to only save the defenseless animals who die every day on the road hit by cars. So if at all you're driving alone at night, and an animal crosses the road, slow down let them cross and just pray that you should not come across the God of roadkill. And if by chance you do face the God of roadkill, then turn around the car slowly and drive as fast as you can. If you have not run over any animal, then it will not do any harm to you. It only targets the ones who do not care about animal lives and is hit one. So that means there are ways to survive, even if you encounter this creature. But my advice will be, it's better that you never encounter. And that was today's story, guys, about the god of roadkill. Comment and let me know how'd you like it. And please subscribe to my channel, guys, if you want to see more Draw My Story horror videos like this one. Till then, bye.